What's going on, moviegoers? If you're the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to Zero Productions. J.J. Abrams is tackling a spin-off series from The Shining. Very interested in this. And it's going to be delivered on HBO Max. Very interested in this. Now, if you know me, if you've been following me, you know how much I love The Shining. The Shining, to me, is just a fucking masterpiece of a film from start to to finish the simplicity of it obviously it's, it's, a, it's a book adaptation from Stephen King fantastic fantastic movie Jack Torrance Danny Torrance I just loved everything about that first film it was fantastic it was Stanley Kubrick is just a, <clears throat> a mastermind and what baffles me so much is how Stephen King didn't like The Shining I was like what the Shining is technically, you know, like rated like one of the greatest horror films of all time. And you have somebody like Stephen King who wrote the book who didn't necessarily like the film because how they switched up the ending, how the hotel was frozen at the end. He was like, no, it should be, you know, set on fire. I'm sorry for the background noise. Motherfuckers be doing some construction around here. Um, <clears throat> but it was just so weird to me when I found out about that. I had watched some interviews with Stephen King and I was like, damn, really? That's... <clears throat> that's how you feel okay but the shining is is literally one of my all-time favorite films it, it's it's the simplicity of it the, the soundtrack just everything this the cinematography the, the the camera movements the cam the camera placings just i mean of course jack nicholson's performance as you know jack torrance it, it unbelievable unbelievable and then dr sleep <clears throat> the sequel to the shining the book Stephen King also wrote came out last year. I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, which I'm really bummed. I bought it. I bought it this year on 4K. I read the book this year. Fucking great. Mike Flanagan directed that film. Ian McGregor starred in it. Unbelievable performance. That movie was so damn good. I didn't think. I didn't know how they wanted to do a sequel to The Shining. I was like, The Shining. I'm like, good luck. I even remember like they announced that. Yeah, working on Doctor Sleep. I was like, good luck with that. Sequel to The Shining. Good luck. Man, they did not hold back. It was really a great homage to that first film, especially it didn't really become a sequel to like the, the third act of the movie. That's when it like really became a sequel because they go to the Overlook Hotel, you know what I mean? And that's when, you know, Danny starts reminiscing and having all these visions and shit like that. Seeing his dad, you know what I mean? Played by a different actor, obviously. Um, but great, great, great movie really good and I like the fact that Mike the director kind of went with Stephen King's initial vision with the hotel the Overlook Hotel burning at the end of the film because that's how it is in The Shining it was the, the book that is you know what I mean the novel so I thought that was pretty cool I like I like the fact that you know he was like oh Stephen King didn't necessarily like the way the first film went so I'm going to you know do this for him I thought that was you know very respectful of uh, Mike Flanagan to do that but J.J. Abrams doing a spinoff of the Overlook Hotel. That's going to be interesting to me. And it's most likely, I feel, it's going to be more of a prequel before The Shining. So we're going to see how all those people died in that Overlook Hotel and really get the backstory of all these different individuals who ended up being, you know, the whole ghost and shit like that in The Shining and in Dr. Sleep. So if they can really come up with a fun, unique terrifying story to really draw you in and really you know stay true to the overlook hotel then i'm on with it i I'm, I'm i'm completely all with it i feel like it would be a fantastic idea to do something like this and jj abrams is a fantastic director fantastic visionary so the potential is there for this this series and it's going to be on hbo max so it's not going to it's not going to be some kitty shit you know hbo is very serious with their stuff the watchmen and things of that nature um but I'm all with it. I'm pretty excited about this news, about finding out about this. Um, and, you know, I just hope that, you know, they go literally look for look, you know, door to door, you know, hallway to hallway from the Overlook. Like, it has to look like the original from The Shining. It has to look like from Dr. Sleep. Even Dr. Sleep, you know, they, they got it down to a T. You get what I'm saying? Like, because in Dr. Sleep, they had to reshoot certain scenes on, you know, the director's cut that was, you know, from the first film. And they got it look for look. And I'm going to have some high expect fucking tations for this Overlook Hotel. Best believe that. Like, it has to look like the original. If not, 
I'm not gonna fuck with it. You know what I mean? It's, you're doing you're doing uh, the book of dis the book of disservice. You're doing the film a disservice, and you're doing the fans a disservice, and you're doing Stephen King a disservice. You're doing Stanley Kubrick a disservice. You're doing Mike Flanagan, Val Flanagan a disservice. It really has to capture the essence of what the original hotel looked like. That's one of my one of my big issues. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, like they decided to go like I want the feel to have it like the haunting of the Hill House. You know what I mean? That Netflix show was fantastic, very dark and creepy. If they can give me a feel of something like that, I'm all with it. I feel like it would be pretty fucking cool to see. But y'all, man, J.J. Abrams, Overlook, I'm with it. Uh, like I said, a lot of potential there. It could be a lot of good, but then it could be it could be bad. I could, I could see this going a really, really bad direction. I really can. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And when more news or information drops about this, I will do another video talking about this particular topic of the whole shining universe but post your comments down below you guys let me know what you guys think about jj abrams tackling an overlook spinoff series from the shining and dr sleep what are your thoughts what are your opinions on it you guys do you think it's a good idea do you think it should be a prequel from the shining please post your comments down below and thank you for taking time here today watching serial productions peace